Hello and welcome to Volatility 411. I'm Joe Tigay. Today the market is lower and the VIX is higher as the VIX continues its stretch of higher lows and higher highs. We bottomed out in the middle of December under 12 at 11.80 and we continue to make higher highs. We're up over 12% in the VIX over that stretch. Meanwhile, the market is also higher over that stretch, up about 9% uh, for its part. So we're seeing uh, two things happen where the market's higher and volatility is higher. Now remember, volatility isn't just the expected move in the market. It's also the cost of insurance in the market. And we, when we see the market higher and volatility higher at the same time, it can be a sign of trouble, uh, it can be a troubling sign. So what happened at the end of December, there was complacency out there. Nobody thought insurance was worth it. People had, did not want to buy put protection in the S&P 500. Now that the market continues to go higher, insurers out there or people looking to protect their portfolio out there are looking around saying, hey, these prices are high. Maybe I should protect my portfolio here. Maybe I should continue to pay higher prices for that protection. So that's what's going on. And a couple times in my career, I've seen this dynamic, especially at the start of the year. Uh, obviously, COVID is one of those examples where we had volatility higher and the market higher uh, uh, through January and February. We saw a very, very nasty end of February. Uh, and of course, a very uh, troublesome March. I don't think this is going to be anything like COVID. I certainly hope not. But it was also the case in 2007, where we saw the market higher and volatility higher. Now, uh, there were some concerns in 2007 about banks. There were some concerns about real estate in 2007. But none of that bubbled up for the surface. And that actually took about a year to play out through the system. Right now, people are talking about there's some geopolitical concerns with China. Uh, but there also is corporate real estate at home. Some of the regional banks have exposure to that. So uh, there is some current concern about that. Maybe it'll take some time to bubble up uh, to the surface like it did in 2007. For Equity Arbor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.